Hello, everyone. I just finished a 30-minute rebounder workout for weight loss. Okay, this is how it goes. You're going to have 14 minutes, two intervals of rebounding cardio. I do give all modifications. Don't worry. Five minutes followed by five minutes of upper body strength training on the rebounder. Five minutes lower body strength training on and off the rebounder in a five minute cool down and stretch where we exclusively work on flexibility and elongating our muscles. I'm ready to go. Are you? You will need light, medium, heavy weights right by your side. Grab All your right rebounder. Guys, get on and that rebounder. Each exercise is one minute. I want you to focus. You're in interval one. You have seven exercises. I want you to focus. Right now, we're getting warmed up on the pushing down, not up. So your feet are hip width apart and you are pushing down. Thank you for coming with me today for this rebounding workout for weight loss and strength train workout. Also, we're gonna work a little flexibility. Cardio, strength train, and flexibility all in 30 minutes. Each exercise is one minute. Rebounding is low impact. If I go too fast, you go at your own pace. Right here. Just pushing down. Now, are you ready? We're gonna go into a seated bounce. Feet on the ground, hands on. Right here, one minute. Now, you can go ahead and use those arms. You can bounce side to side. Hands can be on your rebounder. I have a more medium to low grade rebounder. It is a stamina rebounder. And the next month I will buy a Bellicon rebounder. They seem to be the best on the market, but for now, this works for me. I have to buy all my own equipment when I film. And the Bellicon rebounders are running anywhere between two and four hundred dollars. It is not a cheap purchase like this one. <laughs> four, three, come back up on your rebounder right here. Lateral hops. Now each exercise is one minute. We're gonna run through the seven exercises two times through, right here. <laughs> Breathe it through. Now, any time you need to take it more low impact, focus on the press down and just jumping, focusing on that press down. Lateral hops. Woo! I needed to get a good workout in today. I really didn't feel like working out. And I said, Angie, what workout do you want to do? What sounds fun to you? And I said, rebounding. So that's what I did. Did you know the rebounder stimu stimulates the lymphatic system? Are you ready? What we're going to do now is tuck jump. Three hops, tuck jump. Or you can just tuck jump the whole time. Your choice. Or you can do three bounces and then one tuck jump. Right here. I like the little small bounces. Focusing on the press down and then that tuck jump. I don't care how high or how low, you want to tuck jump. That's up to you. Woo! Come on, you guys. Your workout, your body, jack, jumping jack, right here. Come on, we got it. Yeah, these workouts, go by so incredibly fast. 30 minutes is nothing 
in your day to work out. When in doubt, jump. Yeah. So do any of you have a Bellicon rebounder? If you do, comment below. Let me know what you think about it. I bet you love it. I've seen them and I'm like, oh yeah, I want one. They're just a little bit too pricey for me right now. Forward and back hop, right here. Forward and back hop, arms. You can use those running man arms or both arms up and back. Woo, forward back hop, right here from the side. Running men arms. Now, if I need a break, I'm gonna focus on the press down and I'm gonna do a basic bounce, focusing on that push down. And then I would come back into my forward and backward hop. Use those arms, come on. Woo! Oh yeah. Let's go fast feet. Fast feet. Right here. Fast feet. This is it. Then we're gonna run through these seven exercises one more time. And we're gonna hit the upper body. See, did I not tell you how fast this workout goes? Fast feet. Use those arms. Now, if you don't like the fast feet, feel free to jog. Kick your heel to your butt. But I want those fast feet. Push it, guys. Come on. Use those arms. Push. Come on, 15 seconds. We're gonna go into interval two. Same seven exercises. This will be your last push, cardio push, on the rebounder. So now that you're warm, I want you to push. Are you ready? Interval two, bounce. Woo! Focus on that push down. Now, second time through, if you wanna add those arms, let's add those arms. Focusing on that push down. Woo! It is a, rebounding is a low impact cardio workout. So the key is to go your pace, your intensity level, and just listen to your body, guys. Are we doing good? Oh yeah, big smile on your face. We're pushing through. Big thumbs up, right? Feels so good to move your body. Now in 10 seconds, we're gonna go to the seated bounce. You can bounce up and down, or you can bounce side to side. Are you ready? Hands can be on or off, right here. You can bounce side to side or bounce. Use those arms or arms holding your rebounder. Woo, seated bounce. Remember, you can bounce up and down or side to side. Try both. Woo, come on. Oh, that's a lot of work. Yeah, you have 20 seconds. Work it. Oh yeah, come on, 10 seconds. We're gonna get back on that rebounder. We're gonna do lateral hops. We're gonna jump side to side. Let's get back on that rebounder. Jump side to side. Right now, arms, bicep curl or hammer curl. Right here. Woo! 
Come on, push faster. Right here. If you want arms, running man arms, or hammer curls, right here. Or punch, yeah? See the variations on the arms? Lateral hops, jumping side to side. In 15 seconds, we have those tuck jumps. You can do three bounces, and then at one tuck jump, or continue to tuck jump. Are you ready? Tuck jump. I like the three bounces, one tuck jump, focusing on the pushing down when I bounce. Hop. Your choice. One, two, three, tuck. That's my count. You need to go where you need to go. Last 20 seconds. You get tired, do a basic bounce, focusing on that push down. Last 10 seconds, we're gonna jack. Jumping jack, arms out to the side and down. Two more exercises and we're done with rebounding cardio. We're gonna move to five minutes, upper body strength, five minutes, lower body strength, five minutes, cool down and stretch. We will be using the rebounder. Arms can go all the way up or just a shoulder height. Come on, you have 15 seconds. Breathe it through, in through your nose, out through your mouth, boom. Now we are going to hop forward and back. Arms like this, or press them up and back. Your choice. Come on, you guys. One last exercise. After this, push. Hop up and back. 30 seconds. We have fast feet left, and we're moving on. Come on, 20 seconds. Give me those arms. Last 10 seconds. Hop forward, hop back. Are you ready? Basic bounce or fast feet? Come on, fast feet. Come on, you guys. This is it. Thumbs up. Let's push. This is a low impact joint friendly workout. You know, if you don't like the tuck jump, don't do it. Just do a light, basic bounce. Your feet do not have to come off the trampoline for that basic bounce. Come on, last 30 seconds, fast feet. We're gonna grab our medium weight for upper body in 20 seconds. I'm gonna grab five pound weight for me. We're gonna use the rebounder as an unstable surface to work our core while strength training our upper body. Are you ready? Step down, grab your weight, come back on the rebounder, and front. Right here, palms down, your weight. Each exercise is one minute, right here. Wrist, shoulder height. 
right here, working your anterior deltoids. Now I may switch the workout just a little. Now we're gonna do shoulder, middle deltoids out to the side, right here. Feet hip width apart, center your feet, energy in through your toes and your heels of your feet. All I'm doing is having a stand on that rebounder. It's an unsteady surface. So you're having to engage your core, even when you're doing that upper body strength training. Uh, you are halfway through your workout, guys. I told you, basic, simple, easy to follow. Let's go into bicep curl right here. Now, you can do both at the same time or you can alternate whichever you prefer. I will alternate today. Palms up. Oh yeah. Now hold your weights like a hammer. You can do both at the same time or continue that alternating pattern. Woo! I have not been to the gym. I work out at the YMCA and I have not been to my gym in a week. I love going to my gym and doing my own interval training with a step master and just all the heavy equipment there. And I have not. All right, so I'll show you from behind. Shoulder extension. Working that rear deltoid. Now you can pick one hand and then the other. You can alternate or both at the same time. 10 more seconds. Okay, now you're gonna do palms up. You're gonna shave all the way to your butt cheeks, to your mid back, working your rear deltoids. Shave it up, shave it down. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. 15 seconds, you guys. Oh yeah, very basic exercises. Shave your back. So you want those weights very close by. Okay, take your weights right here, chest press. Going out and in. Now how's it feel being on that rebounder? You can tell you're on an un steady surface. Elbows touch, elbow, shoulder alignment, in, elbows touch, and out. Core solid, belly button to the spine, melt your shoulders away from your ears, right here. Elbow, shoulder alignment, nice chest press. We have 15 seconds. We're gonna go into back. We're gonna take one foot off. Give me one more chest press. You're gonna put the weights in one hand, take one foot off and begin to row. So you have both weights in one hand, working that back. Yeah, good job. 15 seconds, we're gonna switch that other arm, other hand. We'll grab both weights, other foot. We'll come off the rebounder. All right, you guys, I want you to switch weights in your other hand, switch legs, and let's go. Now we have 30, 20 seconds, but listen to me. We are getting ready to go into five exercises lower body. So if you feel you want heavier weights, we're gonna squat and lunge on the rebounder and off. You can make sure you have room to step that foot back and lunge. Everyone, come on the rebounder, squat down and up. You have five minutes right here of lower body. What do you think of that? Man, the time's going by fast, isn't it? I'm so glad you're here with me today. 
Let's talk about the benefits of rebounding. It's a full body detox. You create higher bone density. We need that <sighs> cellulite reduction. That is fat. And we're stimulating our lymphatic system. In the description below, I'm gonna give you all the many benefits of using the rebounder. Let's go. Yeah, sit back in your heels and up through your heels. Now, we're gonna take one foot back. We're gonna lunge and knee up. A lot of work here. If you don't, you can lunge, tap up. If you want lunge, knee. Step it off the rebounder and a high knee. If that is too difficult, you can tap your foot down, tap your foot up. You do not even have to lunge. I'm showing level one beginner. Level two, you can lunge, foot on the ground. You do not have to bring that knee up. That's an extra hard move. It requires a lot of balance and great proprioception. So you pick where you want to go with it. Mom, push it through. Concentrate, other side. I'll start level one beginners. It's a simple foot, whole foot down, whole foot on. Level two, it's a lunge, and then it's a tap, just like this. Level two and a half, three, challenging your balance right here. Let's go. Push. Woo! Yeah, babe. Looking good. 20 seconds, guys. Last 10 seconds. One more for everyone. Come on the rebounder. Lift up on your toes. Right here. Now, level one, hands down. Just lift up on your toes. Level two, as you lift up on your toes, then the weights come up with you. Now you can do this on the ground. Lift up on your toes. Major balance if you're doing your arms. You can do one arm at a time. You can do two arms. Calf raise on the rebounder. Unsteady surface. I'm working your core at the same time. And I'm challenging your balance. Woo! Come on, let's go. Right here. Last 10 seconds. Yes, I am lifting up on my toes. I am getting my heels off the rebounder, even though it doesn't look like it. Okay, put your weights on your shoulders or hold them. Hip abduction. Toes point forward right here. You have 15 seconds. And we're gonna switch to that other side. What do you guys think? Whew, you only have one more exercise. Then we're gonna cool down and stretch. Switch sides, find your center, balance, toes forward. Level one, put a bend in the knee. Do not try to straighten your leg. Right here, last 15 seconds. Our very last exercise will be a push-up. You can do a wall push-up, beginners. If you don't want to put your hands on the rebounder, you're going to put your hands on the ground. One more, everyone. And push-up any way your heart desires. Push-up on the rebounder. One minute. I want that un steady surface on my hands. 
right here. Wall push up. Level one beginners, this is a wall push up. Just like that. Last 30 seconds. We'll get a five minute cool down stretch. And that will be your time to work on your flexibility. Last 20. Push it through. Last 15. Last 10. Last one. Come on up. Sit on your rebounder and I'll meet you out for a cool down. Time to cool down and stretch. So let's sit. Let's just reach for our toes. I know our legs are not straight. I want you to press your hands into your toes. Press your toes into your hands. Round your back and get a nice stretch in through that mid and low back. So you're rounding your back. We have five minutes, so stay with me. All right, you're gonna just grab one foot, however you can grab it. And you're gonna lift, get a nice hamstring stretch. Now, if it's too difficult to maintain a straight knee, put a bend in your knee, then straighten. So you're gonna work your way into it. Great rebounding workout, great. We did cardio, strength training, and now we're working on that flexibility. Grab that other leg and lift. Very important as we age, all ages, 20 year olds, listen to me. You still need to maintain your flexibility. Balance and flexibility are the two components in proprioception that leave as we age if we don't actively work on it. In every physical therapy session, I'm always working balance, I am working flexibility, stretching, and strength training. Every session with everybody, just to about. Okay, so what I want you to do here, place one knee on the rebounder, and the other one, arm goes over. I don't care what side. Lengthen through your toes. Top hip opens up. Gaze your eyes to look at the ceiling and lengthen. So press through your hand that's on the rebounder, but lengthen that bottom arm. All right, so let's work on our balance. Can you grab that top foot? Your bottom hand is here for a kickstand, and let's get a top hip flexor stretch right here. Yeah, always work in balance, you guys know me. If I have a chance to work balance, I'm gonna work it. Put both knees on the rebounder and reach to one side and reach to the other side. One more time, reach and reach. Take your other leg down. I didn't forget this side. Gaze your eyes at the ceiling, open up that top hip. and breathe. All right, here's your challenge. Top hand grabs that top foot. Yeah, look, even I. So you're gonna tuck that top butt cheek under and feel that stretch in through that hip of the leg, that top leg. Oh, yes. All right, so you're gonna put both knees on the rebounder. You're gonna lift like you're reaching for a rope and you're opening up, expanding the sides of each rib cage as you lift and you try to grab that rope just a little higher. One minute left, interlace your fingers for me and lift, chest expansion. Just let those shoulders release away from your ears. Feel your hips open up. Feel your chest 
expand. Now shoulder rolls up and back. So I want the movement to come from that shoulder blade. Not your hands, but your shoulders. They lift up, back, down, and away. And reverse that circle. Up, forward, and down. Right ear, right shoulder. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. Left ear, left shoulder. Right ear, right shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. Deep breath in, inhale, breathe into the deepest part of the lungs. Exhale, two more times and we're done. A big inhale, breathe into the deepest part of the lungs. Expand that rib cage. Exhale, one last time to set your day. Big inhale, breathe in all the positive energy this world has to give. As you exhale, exhale out all the stress. Come to Heart Center. My name is Angie. Angie Fitness TV. Subscribe, share, follow. Find me on Facebook, Tumblr, WordPress, Twitter, and uh, a whole bunch of other sites. I'm Angie at Angie Fitness TV, all one word. Please be sure to comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what type of rebounder you have and let me know why you like it. And is there a more affordable one that is really great, but it's not as expensive as a Bellicon? Please let me know. I'll see you for our next workout together.